It's time for one more run with FTL, the advanced edition, before I put this game to rest, I think. And I figured the ship that we will use will just be the uh, Atlantis type B cruiser I unlocked in the last episode, the Shrike. Let's see, what I'm going to call this guy? Let's call him. Um, suffocation. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just go with that. And the basic thing I'm going to be going going to mention here: this has a teleporter, and it has two landis guys. So I think the basic idea is that you're going to use these guys to board ships, and just you know basically act like the Mantis craft, except with the landis cruiser here. So it should be very interesting to see how this works. Essentially, the advanced black here looks like it's just, you know, meant to knock down shields and get them, you know, the your ship ready to be boarded when it needs to. And the mind control is supposed to help out a little bit with, uh, you know, getting the uh, other ships subjugated. Alright, uh, oh, uh, look at this, the man is starting these goods. So we got a perfect set setup for using uh, my guys immediately. Now the only bad thing here is I don't have any sensors, so I actually have to have these guys look around for guys before I can really, you know, make use of that, but... Let's drop these guys here. Now the good thing about these guys is that they'll deprive rooms of oxygen, and that could basically allow me to uh, suffocate these guys to death. And let's try... Oh, let's fire at this guy, why not? A little bit damage to those shields. Come on, kill all the weaker guys. There we go. Ooh, I'm going to take a hit. My guys did a good job, you know, defeating the crew, but, um... Alright, well, there we go. The crew's dead. We searched the ship. We got a military grade weapon for looting it without destroying it. Apparently, I've got fire up here I have to deal with. Actually, this is vent. Oh, there it is. There's a fire. Um, right, these guys burn, so I don't want them getting hit by fire. All right, let's see here. We didn't want to basically just um, vent the ship there so we get rid of that big fire. Now, the only bad thing here is that these guys, they only have so much life, so, you know, basically, um, I don't have the ability to basically heal up with a med bay or anything, so that's the only bad thing about the clone bay for this one. But they can still do pretty well, I think, these guys. Okay, a couple of stress. Alright, uh, let's lead them to your destination. We got a little scrap for that. Let's go, this is stress. And you arrived, distressed, small asteroid, fine pirate. Let's carefully come out with the beam weapon I now have. And note that even though I can't power it up, I can still use it just because I have it equipped. So that's a bit of an oversight, I think, but whatever, it works. Um, now, I should probably know something about the scrap here. It's worth knowing that um, for weapons on the first like upgrade, it basically takes extra scrap to get your first um, engine upgrade. So there's my first upgrade for weapons. And then, as you can see, it subsequently goes back down to 25 as soon as you get it done.
Alright, let's mess around and enable a little bit to slow down pursuit. Uh, teleporter, because you know why not? We got ourselves a rockman. Let's drop you where? No, honestly, I'm tempted to have the rockman just go to uh, the engines there, so. We'll wait a little bit and then we'll just drop him in there. And now that's my engineer. And we're actually going to save positions, I think, at this point. So basically, I don't have to keep remapping where these guys go. Let's go to this nebula here. Oh, it's a drone! And I can't board these guys, or wait, I can! Because guess why? These guys have the ability to breathe, you know, in non oxygen environments. So I'm going to just drop him inside. And you guys, you know, deal with those right now. So even if, uh, you know, I basically have to worry a little bit about this guy, they'll just keep the engine down. Okay, we'll have this guy go after the shields. There's a hit on the shields. And that's done. So unlike with the Mantis ship, where this might be a bit of a problem, it's not too bad with these guys, where essentially I have the option of basically sending them over to, you know, wreck the rebel, rebel ship. Look at that, I can reach a whole lot of these places all at once. Four way hit. So let's set this off fire, why not? And note that this ship is only a beam weapon, so it can't hurt me at all. And fire the pipe beam! Boom, 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 boom. Now, I don't want to send these guys over and destroy something for the simple reason that if they do, they'll get killed. So, we're just gonna let the pipe beam finish him off. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. I need him the pipe beam to destroy him really quick now. Okay, there we go. So, pipe beam disc drop. We got, you know, this guy blown him up. We got a comet drone mark one. So interesting little you know way of using these guys in a combat situation with a rebel drone. They can actually board them. You can never do that with the mantis because you know the mantis will get killed, but you can do it with these guys. All right, I can do it again here. So we got a hacking drone and we got um, explosives and these weapons. Okay, we're gonna drop these guys on the weapons and then maybe we can deal with those immediately. He's hitting my engines, which is a bit an issue, but well. It's fired at this constant of shields, and there goes his weapon. There goes his shields. I'll fire the advanced black beam again, why not? Just because it's charged up. Boom! Gone. Actually, can the pike beam go all the way across? Nope, not all the way across. They can go pretty far, but not that far. These guys just enter here and start blowing up the hacking drone. I want to be very careful and leave this off until... I'm damn well sure I'm not going to kill my guys with them. And I still all fired it, so, you know, good thing I pulled those guys out at that point. Because I would have lost experience if I didn't. All right, I think at this point I want to maybe pick up another weapon so I can have like both these things online at once. Gonna have to start picking up some power for the ship, but oh well. It's starting out and it's starting out pretty strong. All right, flat can, weapons. Let's send these guys off on a little trip. Go here. Mind control that guy. Just slowly kill off the uh, guys that are auction dep 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 deprivation there. I can do that too, you know. There goes his shields. Oh, 
they sent the last guy up there to try and fight my guys off. Not gonna help them too much, because, you know, my guys are superior. They are taking a lot of damage, these guys, but... They've done their job pretty well. Oh, is he gonna die here? He might, so... Let's send him up here, maybe... Okay, so I can stop to surrender and get some stuff and then avoid these guys getting killed, but... We will not stop to surrender. I'm gonna try killing these guys... ...off. For experience. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, there's still another guy somewhere. He's right there. And there we go, we got uh, Grosley, who is a prisoner on our crew. Oh boy, that's probably a bad place to put these guys. Okay, good, we didn't get hit, but, um... Still kind of, you know, threatening having him jump there. You know what, let's send these guys like this. I see you get back there. So yeah, my uh, my away team is kind of getting injured here. This will be a good time to have re reconstruct a teleport for this uh, this one, because I'll have the ability to uh, avoid these guys getting killed off by you know um, this lack of health. Let's get a little bit more power. Hopefully this won't be a rebel ambush, but it is. Oh well. All right, so he's got beam weapons. He's got doors. Now I could send these guys over, and I just might just so that they can do a little bit of damage, and so I can like maybe you know control someone. So that's an option I have. And it's probably the best option to do. So maybe we'll just do that. I'll uh, send these guys over. Okay, there's nothing in there to really stop them from... There's like no system drone basically to stop the enemy rebels from jumping into that part of the compartment, so... That kind of sucks, but well... You know, so I'm switching these, switching these guys around a little bit so they take a little bit more you know, damage before I basically let them go. Basically, these guys, you know, I don't want them necessarily getting killed just for stupidity. There goes weapons. Okay, I could send him back in there to try and deal with those guys, but my mind control is about to run out, so I'm just gonna let them destroy the drone, I guess. And now they're dead, but you know, they did their job, they... Whoops! That time I killed my own guy. But basically we've taken out their drones and their weapons, they don't have any more offensive power even though it didn't really matter. He's trying to escape. So that's a bit of an issue, he's gonna try and escape on me. Hopefully my flat can take out his uh, piloting so he can't escape. One of these guys is ready. Okay, I can let him surrender and I'll get more fuel, more, more missiles, and more scrap. That might be just worth it just because I don't want these guys, you know, to go back over there perhaps just at the moment. Cloning! So they're ready. I was going to say, they lose a little bit of, you know, combat and all that from that, but... Essentially, they get fully healed as soon as they die and get recloned, so there's that. Hacking! 
All right, how am I gonna deal with this guy? He's got missiles. Let's see here, let's drop these guys in there. Fire these as shields, I guess. Oh, he's got mantis over there, that'll be fun. Because I can control him for lots of damage. And that engine's not gonna really be a bit much of a threat, so. Hit the mantis. Oh, right in the face. Okay, I'm gonna take a hit by those missiles and lasers, but oh well. There goes my doors. Let those guys try and get the weapons before I do anything else. Combat! Hooray! More combat. Blink! And he sends his mantis back to fight us, so... Deal that a little bit. We already took it out as, you know, main weapon of threat, so... Let's try and finish these guys off with the... Boom boom! So, disabled, we got their stuff. I just noticed this, but one of these guys is called Davian, so... Hooray for RAM na name generation. Alright, so... We're doing pretty well with the crew, I think. We've already got ourselves five members. Our way team's doing some serious damage whenever it boards ships. And Beacon serves a mean place for local traffic. I can hire guys here. It's just a couple humans I could hire here. And humans aren't necessarily bad or anything, but I'm not sure the scrap is worth hiring another human, so don't hire anyone. Um I'll I'll take a gander at the store perhaps. Maybe I'll find something useful in here. Let's see, I've got uh, distraction buoys, FTL jammer, advanced FTL navigation, cloaking, backup battery, and hacking. I can sell stuff I want, like I can sell this. But to be honest, I'm not sure there's anything in here I really want to use. Fixing my ship though might be a good idea. A little bit, just ship, ship it up a little bit, so... We'll get one more. I'm going to say I'm not going to do anything else besides repair up. Let's go to the exit and we'll just book it from the first sector. So, there's the first sector already out of the way and we've done quite well getting a few guys. Uh, acquire a specialty. The offer up your piloting subsist um, subsistence in exchange for some scrap. Yes, that's a good exchange. Eleven scrap for upgrading piloting? Sure, I'll take that. So that's a really awesome, awesome thing to get. A bandit sector would be awesome for perhaps picking up another Lanius guy, so we'll look around here perhaps. Let's go to distress, and likely these distresses are going to be Lanius attacking someone. Distress signals from a uh, system coming from a slug vessel under attack by Lanius. The slugs beg for assistance to the Lanius tearing to hull plating. So we can attack the Lanius ship. And unlike with, you know, so many other times before, I wouldn't be able to board this guy with normal guys, but this is just a bunch of Lanius over there, so. I can board these guys. I think we will. Let's go into his piloting. And we'll my control. That guy. Apparently we got the other guy, but oh well. So my control windows land us and then we'll just, you know, rip apart this other guy here. Now, unlike before, these guys don't care about air depression, these guys I'm fighting, so. Basically he's gonna fight to adapt this guy. You can go in here. Ah, well, I guess David's gonna, or this is actually the other guy taking a bit beating here. Blah! So there's no more life signs ring on the ship. You strip of useful materials. The slugs uh, take advantage of the fire flight, having flood the system. So long for gratitude. Well, that's to be expected from slugs, right? They just run away. All right, um, let's go up to this one up here. Rebel ship patrolling the distribution as soon as you arrive, it begins as assault. 
Okay, he's got fire beams, lasers, and those missiles. Now, if I send this guy over, he's going to get rocked. So... Do I want to switch him around like that, perhaps? The thing is that if I get lucky, there might be a system repair drone over there, so... If I do that, then there's a good chance he'll be fighting system repair drone for a little bit. And it's nothing. And it looks like the weaker guy goes over there, regardless of where I want him to or not. So that's a bit of an issue, because I want him fighting that guy. Switch places and fight. It looks like that guy's gonna go after him, which is very nice. Slowly we'll kill this guy off. Fire this stuff over here. Nice! That was awesome. Awesome shot. Boom! No more life signs. We killed them all. Oh! Okay, I've got fire somewhere in my ship, I think. Send you this way. There's the fires. Let's get rid of those fires immediately. My weapons are apparently on fire. Now they are no longer on fire. So that's done. I'll wait a little for my auction to go back up before moving these guys back and then... I guess that's as good as it gets with the auction diversion produced by those guys. So let's go back to wherever they start. And then jump. And we got ourselves an upgrade power ship sits around the remains of a number of land ships at hills. These punks think they can just waltz into here into our sector. Obnoxious right. Well, I'll assure you know the routine. Let's do this. So an upgrade power ship that managed to kill the Lanius. How nice of them. Alright, this will suck, but again, I'm going to try and send these guys over. And as you can see, these guys are a little bit injured, so it may not go very well. Let's send you... Um, into auction, I guess, perhaps. He's got a human. And a Zoltan. We'll send a Zoltan away, I guess. Why? Well, I don't know why I sent him, but we'll take the human, I guess, or fire first for dying. Oh, he's going to go after him, apparently. We'll let them fight each other for a little bit in there. Injured themselves. And let's fire this at those guys. You guys just step in here for a moment. And he's going to fight to the death, apparently, because he's an idiot. Okay, he's dead. So one of those guys is dead. Ow, ow. My teleporters are down. I guess the auction is more important, actually, on this ship. I actually know the fire is in there. So it is more important to just do that for now. Alright, gonna fight this guy now, this uh, Zoltan. Alright, the crew's dead. We get, you know, everything done, but one of our guys died in the process, oh well. So I'll have to repair that teleport before I get the other guy over. And we'll send you back over here to maybe repair this up. All 
All right, so these guys are doing pretty well in combat. They're both, you know, at least uh, into the green. 10% more damage when they attack stuff. Uh, there's a stress over there, but before we go there, I'm going to actually maybe just pop up my power a little bit so I can get the pipe beam. And then we'll jump over to the stress. Uh, the stress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting on a high plant. These satellite defense prisons have been gone haywire. Their purpose, um can't approach without being fired upon. Promise to help. You can consider options. You can simply fire on defense system front distance, or you can remote repair its targeting system with an engineer crew. Let's do that. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch. Blah, blah, blah. We get all the stuff. So that's nice. Free, free loots. Uh, you detect a refueling platform near the beacon and old progress signal is garbled. You can't make out the message. Let's hail the platform or attempt to communicate. There is a screech from your comm system and, and broadcast suddenly cuts off. The platform suddenly begins to move, revealing itself to be Atlantis' ship. Alright, Atlantis' ship, and he's got missiles and lasers and hacking. How fun. Alright, hopefully this won't get this guy killed, but... Okay, apparently these guys switch is what they do whenever you sent them over. Oops. Uh, boink. I'll do that to him. I lost my doors apparently, but oh well, that's fine. Who needs doors? Fire the advanced flat can at the uh, weapons. Nice, we took out his weapons, but not before the missile fired off, sadly. There goes a hit to my shields. You can go repair that. Fire this there. And we'll stop firing that off. You're not going to get attacked here. You're going to... Switch places again. Oh, be moving away. Alright, um... Do I dare? Yeah, I'll dare do this, and maybe I'll get to a little bit enough damage just done from this, so... Do all that, maybe I'll do a little bit of damage on that guy, as a result. And I don't want you getting attacked, but... Um, and boom! There are no more life signs remaining. I can investigate the fueling platform. It looks like so Lance were interested in the fuel reserves on the station, and there's a good amount of fuel left. You can take what you can to your ship. That's very nice. So we got that off their ship. Damien's critically injured, but well. That was a good fight. There's a store here. I can go maybe buy something of use here. Um, a large transport ship undergoing mains hails you. Greetings, friend. We're getting out of the sector as soon as this coolant shaft is fixed, and I suggest you do the same. I half expect those damn metal freaks to come and try and melt down our ship at any moment. We're trying to offload some inventory. Are you interested in buying some? Alright, so there's right reconstruction for teleports, so we'll get that so I no longer have to worry about my guys dying whenever I, you know, send them all over the place. Um, stealth weapons is not a bad thing to buy if I try and get uh, stealth cloaking abilities, basically, so maybe I'll get that. Um, I'm basically buying that just for the simple reason that I'm going to get cloaking on the ship. I'm going to try and go for a win, so I think I'm going to need to have cloaking abilities. So we'll get that stuff. There's a beam too. The combat drone that really attacks with a larger beam weapon. Interesting. I wonder how that works. All nice stuff that was in this shop. Too bad I got to it so early. We're going to repair up as much as possible there. Let's go here. Alright, immediately receive a message upon arrival. Help, those male bastards have gone crazy. The communication orates from the hull of the partially dismantled ship, which lies among the number of our destroyed ships. The found land ship responsible for disguise as advancing on survivors. Oh, let's attack the land ship. 
And we're gonna make use of our reconstructed teleport. Speed them up, Scotty. Fully healed. Fire the flat cam maybe at this guy here. Alright, that's about how bad I eat my clone blade there. I don't have the ability to uh, save these guys if they, um... Ow. If basically, if these guys get killed, they're, uh, they're doomed if that's, you know, going on. I'm going to fire up the beam weapon just as... Yeah, that didn't work. That doesn't fire fast enough to make up for the beam weapon firing. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. These guys are just going to get healed up and we'll be on our way. So, normal life signs and Atlantic ship behaves in cocktail civilians. They were wise enough to get away. And they heal up. Nice, heal nice heals for cloaking and all that. And of course, there's a store there, but I think we'll actually avoid that store for a simple reason that I don't have anything to buy with. So we don't worry about it. You come from a land ship in the process of delivering a rebel on uh, scout. If you scare the land, you could probably make use of it. Alright, let's kill these guys. And we'll mind control you. You went after my paladin that time. So there goes the weapons. Again, not before he uh, fires the missile off. And we're just gonna do that. I want to hit this clone bay before. Scans to meet the land ship is preparing to Don't let them escape. Um, I got a bad, you know, thing that maybe I just fired just a little bit too quick. Okay, good. We um, got that off. Basically, this is going to hit two more rooms. And these guys are going to die. Whoops. Well, good thing is I got cloaking base. Anyhow, the land's curve breaks apart. You are uh, moved to inspect the Almighty Rebel ship that I was absorbing. Uh, you're able to retrieve some same amount of data about destroying beacons from the scout before you scrap it. So yeah, I accidentally got those guys killed because I fired a pipe beam on and destroyed the ship. But luckily these guys are, you know, they're just cloning bait. They're okay if I if I get them killed like that and it's operational. Oh yeah, sorry for getting killed. What's up? Welcome back to the fold. Alright, so there's the information on the sector. Let's go up to this ship. And it is the beacon, blah blah, chasing land scavers away from a wrecked ba land's battleship. As soon as the rebel notices you move into attack, the land ship returns to their prey like flies and garbage. Alright, uh, let's get these guys killed. Yoink! And we'll grab you. Now he does have a med bay, so that's a bit of an issue, but if I'm lucky, I can maybe, you know, destroy the med bay. We're gonna wait a little bit before firing off the advanced flak cannon. Ow. At least I got advanced piloting, so that's good. I'm gonna fire this here. And then we'll go... Like that. And kill these guys in here. One down. Two down. And there's the last guy. Kill him. And that's probably close enough to... Pull him out. Okay, pull these both guys both out. Then have you step in and you step there. He's trying to get away.
All right, there's no more useful life signs. We kill everything. My guys survive, so I get to heal them up as they come back. You know, I wonder if the reconstructive teleport can be abused to heal my, up my other guys in here if we need to. All right, uh, scans um, have picked up the land vessel in the system. It appears to be now in a rich debris field, higher than the minerals. Um, sure, we'll do that. We'll get some more. Now we'll go to the exit. All right. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. You find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. Inquire about the specialty. They offer to upgrade your auction system. Okay. So there's an upgrade to my auction done. Next sector. Let's go to... Let's see. If I go here, I can see this. If I go here, I can see that. It doesn't really matter which one I go to. I guess we'll go to the civilian sector. Why not? Now let's continue on. This goes to stress. The stress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting the other hand plant. These satellite defense systems, blah, blah, blah. Promise to help. NG. Done. Let's go into Nebula and have some fun maybe in there. Or... Yeah, let's go into Nebula just so I can hamper the Rebels. You jump in a sector of Nebula, uh, all my Rebel Scouts prepared to fight, so we'll have to go after them. Big deal though. Oh wait, it's in a plasma storm. This is a big deal. Alright, the, the shields here will stop this guy. But, um, the more, you know, pressing concerns is the fact that I've got no, you know, auction or dodge capabilities or anything. Luckily I can just send these guys over to here, I guess, so. Destroy that. Destroy it now. Nice, they got rid of the weapons. That's done. That's a total miss. And they're gonna, you know, be pulled back off. Wow, my advanced black can is messing up. That's where, you know, they say this is great for, you know, um, hitting stuff, but it's not very accurate. You can't really properly ta target very well. Oh, he's got the, uh, the weapons back. Send you over to here. That was a bad thing to fire at, but oh well. It's only going to do one little damage there, I guess. There goes his weapons and his drones. They're back down. Oh, I got fire in there. Send the rockman to deal with the fire. I'm basically holding off and firing the advanced black can just so I don't accidentally blow these guys up. So I'll let them just, you know, destroy their engine over there, and then I'll pull them off. And I let the uh, engine get destroyed there by fire. Okay, that's done. And we'll just fire off right there with this, because I'll have a high chance of hitting both those rooms. Only one damage, okay, but whatever. We'll fire off another blast. And there it goes. Bye bye. So blown up and done with. Send these guys in here, repair this up. And I need to have some engines, so do that temporarily. Send you up to here.
All right, it's hard to see why he's speaking as a parent tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. I can basically pick up three drone parts for two missiles. That's a that's a good deal, because drone parts are way more expensive than missiles later on, or even right now. All right. Um, I'm actually tempted to go out here to make sure there's no shop in one of those like close-off places. So nothing there. And there is a store right here that I want to visit, so it goes to distress, and then we'll go to the store. It appears the stress beacon is coming from a surface in nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked, exploring the devastation to find a lone survivor. So I can invite him to my, join my crew, or I can take him home to his family nearby system. I must invite him to join my crew. He states that he was an engineer before he was stranded. He is happy to get off uh, surface in time for exchange to getting off that rock. Continue. Um, So, this guy never really got any real train on engine, so we don't risk going to put you guy here instead. So now I've got an a, new, a new engineer, and this guy's on shields. Save stations. That's a good setup, I think. And... Let's go to the store. Okay, transmissions are nearby planning in case of outposts, which supplies, you know, for travelers. There's no cloaking bay in here, Sally, but um, I can get other stuff in here. I can get the heal burst, which would be useful for healing up my guys in combat. Um, oh, yes, there is cloaking in here. What am I saying? All right, what do I want to get rid of? Um, emergency rest repairs are nice, but we're going to get rid of those, and I'm going to buy the cloaking system. So that's my final slot, apparently. But I got cloaking now, and cloaking is an awesome... Basically, I think cloaking is like the, one of the best things and um, for defense against like the final boss. So I picked this up just for that reason. So I'm happy I have that out of the way. More or less, I think I'm ready for the final boss. I have like teleporters to get into his like weapons. I got the cloaking to dodge the, the power bursts. Mind control to prevent the third stage, mind control that he does. Now I just have to build up my ship's weapons and other stuff and get the sensors. Alright, I could send this guys over here to maybe kill off the um, the thing there, maybe. Well, I could go after weapons as well. Choices, choices! I think we're going to go after his um, shielding so I can knock it down a little bit. And with it down... Oh damn, I can't use the cloaking now because he hit the cloaking of the um, hacking device. But anyhow, I'm going to try and take out his shield so that basically I can, you know, use my weapons more effectively on him. Cool, I can do that. Oh, I just locked cloaking to ion there. That's nice. Not nice. A little bit damaged by cloaking. That's not good. Um, you go fix that. Okay, good. Their uh, shields are down enough that I can fire them maybe here. And then go like this. This will hurt my own guys, but whatever. They've got, you know, nothing really attacking them, so it's fine. So that takes out his paladin, that takes out his weapons, that takes out his shields a little bit. That takes out their shields a little bit more. I'll go for the engines now. Let's fire these off as weapons, I guess. So there goes the weapons a little bit more. Come on, get that repaired. Good, that's out of the way. So now that's done, these guys can die if they want over there, and it won't truly kill me. I do want to be careful, you know, firing off this stuff, because I might accidentally kill them, though, so... I'm going to hold off on firing off the uh, flat cannon. Teleport them off, and then we'll kill them off with the ensuing wrath here. 
Boom. So the ship breaks apart. It's all destroyed. These guys are safe. Let's go down here. Ion Storm, why not? Alright, uh, you find two heavily damaged ships flowing nearby. The remains of the battle. You begin to harvest some usable, uh, usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone being bored following by shots of boarding party. So we got some scrap and then the intruders jumped on. And they're right in my thing right here, apparently. Um, you, beat it. You, go in there. Okay, there's a lot of guys in there. Let's mind control one of these guys. And we'll drain the ships of oxygen right there. These guys will immediately run away, so I have a chance of injuring a little bit of oxygen desperation. Uh, Daring's taking a little bit of damage there, but it's fine. He's alive. That guy's mind control, so you know he's running around in the ship like any maniac. Send these guys up to deal with the last guy. And he's done. So that's uh, super effective. And there's another store, so I can go here and maybe pick up a little bit more uh, stuff to buy, maybe some sensors, for example. Okay, life storm scanner, that lets me uh, detect location of life storms even without sensors that don't function. That wouldn't be too bad to have. Um, FDL recharge booster, reconstruction teleport, we already got that. Backup battery. That wouldn't be too bad to maybe pick up. Okay, what am I gonna buy here? I'm gonna do this for sure. Okay, we're actually gonna buy the life storm scanner because that will be useful for allowing me to use my mind control even when I can't see anyone on the ship due to scanners. And I really should buy some more power, I guess, so I can power up my thing there. Let's go here. And Rebel, Rebel Scum. He's got Burst Lasers, he's got Free Guys, Clone Bay, lots of fun. Okay, let's see here. I want to fire off what? Let's mind control you and drop these guys into a shield. Now, I think these guys are just going to purposely die just because they can. And there's really nothing I can stop him. Well, he has teleporter, okay. Oh, they are going to run away. Interesting. They're going to run away. Oh, there goes a hit to there. You hit my shields. Let's see here, let's go after... That, and then we'll go like this. Do some damage that way. Okay, what do I care about here? Okay, I want to do that much damage to that, and then we'll go after these guys in the clone bay before they repair that. This guy's over here, apparently. I'll send you up to there. Send you down here. Send you guys down here. All right, where's this last guy? Oh, that's it, so they are dead. So all, all dead, all done. So super effective battle.
Onward. Go this Nebula. And we got ourselves a Mantis now with engine skills. Interesting. But this guy will be useful, I think, down on doors. He can be my backup raider, for, for example, as you can probably guess. And... You know, I'm tempted maybe to have these guys switch, the Rockman and the uh, human down here. Because that guy might be a little bit better for combat. But they're also fairly good there too, so I might just leave them as they are. I might also switch these guys around, uh, the NG and the human. I think that's a better idea, because this guy can move around and repair what he needs to. And let's just get to the exit, and that'll be it for this initial run. Mantis controlled, don't care. Solson controlled, here we come. Alright, so that's basically the first episode for my sort of last run. So far we've managed to collect up seven crew members. I've managed to uh, get all my systems already, but that was, you know, not too hard since I already had most of them already. Um, managed to get the weapons upgraded a little bit. Managed to get, you know, some more ship augments with the uh, um, stealth weapons and the, and the lifestone scan or reconstruction teleport. And things are going pretty well, I think. So hopefully this will make sure the boss and have a good fight with him. And maybe I'll actually win in normal difficulty in the expansion. For now, though, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.